All right, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you set up your Google API key and enable billing, which will unlock a couple of additional features that we've got here in the software. So if you scroll down from your dashboard to the bottom of the page, you'll see that among our lead generation tools are Google Business Leads. And these are you know leads pulled straight off of um, Google Business Listings, Google Maps. And if you click on it, um, right at the top of our dialog, it's going to ask you for your Google API key. And that's because this feature and everything you see here won't work <laughs> until you've put in an API key. So uh, the question becomes, how do you get one? I'm glad you asked. Um, so here in this dialog, we do have, uh, just as a quick reference, a little link here that you can click that will give you a PDF file that um, documents these same steps, but I'm going to do it for you here live also so you can see what it looks like. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up a new tab and go to console.developers.google.com. Um, And you should see something like this. Now you want to make certain that you are already logged in to Google using the uh, either Gmail account or the G Suite account that you intend to use with the software. Um, and uh, I already am, so that's why it's saying welcome and then saying my name. If this is your first time doing this, uh, then you're going to want to confirm your country, agree to their terms of service, and continue. Uh, and then the next thing you need to do is select a project, which in all likelihood you do not yet have a project. So you can see this little pull down here, I have none. So I have no organizations, no projects, no nothing. So I'm going to create a new project by clicking that. Um, I can give it uh, any name I like, something that's going to be memorable to you. I'm just putting demo and I'm going to create that project. And after a few seconds, you'll see it appear here in this dashboard. Okay, my project was just created. I can clear that notification. And um, you'll see from the pull down that I am now in my selected project demo. All right, the next step we want to do is in this uh, hamburger menu up in the top left. If you pull that and go to the um, APIs and then library um, there are two APIs that we need to activate for our software to work and the uh, first one is um, right here at the top of the list maps JavaScript API so we need that to use the our, our built-in Google business leads tool um, and we're just gonna click enable and after a few seconds this API will be enabled for this project. Then we're going to go right back to that same page, API library. And the next thing we want to do is just type into this search field places. And we want the places API. It's the first one that appeared in my results. Likewise, we want to enable it. And once you have enabled both of these APIs, you can go up here to the um, uh, API and then your dashboard and you can confirm at the bottom of the page here that I've got one, two, both of these APIs have been enabled for my account. All right, so the next step in getting our um, API key is we have to generate some credentials. So if I go to the hamburger menu, go to API and services, and then the third item down is credentials. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on create credentials. And I'm going to choose an API key. And what Google is going to do, it's going to generate a long, you know, multi-character string that is my API key. So we'll do that. And there it is. Uh, so I'm going to copy this. I copied that. And then we're going to switch tabs back to our software where I'm going to paste that API key here in this top field, but I am not yet going to hit the save icon over here on the right. And I'll show you why in a second. But first, I'm going to paste that key in there. Then I'm going to head back to um, my Google API dashboard. And 
I need to now enable billing. That's the final step I gotta do. Okay, so now the next step we're gonna do is enable billing on this Google account, and that's because use of this feature does generate charges from Google. It, they, they charge you a minuscule amount um, for each time you hit their API to search up places and to search up business listings. Um, and I'll have uh, another video uh, subsequent to this one that will explain that pricing and how you can set a budget and control it a little bit. Um, but as you can see from the top of my screen, they actually do give you a free trial with a credit. So um, that's helpful to have. But anyhow, the way you enable billing, uh, in that same top left navigation menu, I'm going to click on billing. And if this is the first time your account has been used, it's going to ask you to link a billing account. So I'm going to click on this blue button and I'm going to create a brand new billing account. And uh, then it's going to, of course, ask you your country, where you live, you have to agree to their terms of service. And just fill in your business information, um, your business's name and address, um, and then your contact information. Then here at the bottom, uh, you're going to enter in your credit card that you use for payment. And once you've entered that, you will be signed up for a 12-month uh, free trial, which includes a $300 credit to spend over the next 12 months. Um, and uh, you're all set to go. Next, after you confirm that, slide back over to our software. And where you've entered that Google API key, now you can go ahead and hit the Save button and it's successfully saved. You'll see that green message. So now if I refresh the page here in our software, you can confirm that you have correctly set this up by doing the following. You scroll down to the bottom once again, click on the Google Business Leads tool, and now if you start typing in a location, um, if the Google account is correctly set up, then you will find that this field will automatically um, auto-complete. So uh, let's think of a location. How about um, uh, Chicago? I type in S-H-I-C, and you can see I haven't finished typing the word Chicago yet, but Google has already suggested things. That's how you know that you are correctly connected to uh, your Google API key. Um, and in the next video, I'll show you how you can use this tool.